G'day Australia, Hugh Jackman here. I just wanted to let you know that my new film Chappie will be in cinemas from March 12th, so please go and see it and I hope you like it. Destroy that robot. Burn it to ash. I'm still surprised in film when I can get people to work on the films that I want to make that are actually part of a catalogue of people that crafted my own creative interests. He talks like he's a newcomer, but he made such a splash with District 9. It feels like he, not only has he been on the scene for a long time, but in a way, he kind of changed the genre of science fiction. He's one of those masterminds who is so comfortable with all the technology from the whole genre of science fiction, but also what's really happening. Tetraval is very happy with you. Scouts are a huge success. When we started talking about Bradley, one of the first people we talked about was Sigourney Weaver. She is not just science fiction royalty, she's acting royalty and she's iconic. She's very easy to communicate with and she's very talented. So it's kind of effortless, but it's also every once in a while I realize that it's actually Ripley on set, which is kind of, you know, mind blowing. I have a robot that is operated by a thinking human being. I don't think I've ever had as much fun playing a character as I have Vincent Moore. He's A-type alpha male with the wickedest mullet haircut ever to be seen on film. He's the villain, but I think audiences will really love him because he's so magnetic and he's so interesting on screen. He just looks and sounds and acts in a way that I just have never seen before. You just made a big mistake, my friend. Chappie is such an amazing expression of so much that Neil cares about and witnesses and feels. There is great action, there's great emotion. It also makes you think it's dramatic, and I think it will bring people in that don't normally go to science fiction movies. This is your day of reckoning. Chappie.